Hello guys, welcome to Technonator YouTube channel. As you know, ConfUI offers a very useful interface for people who are interested in generative images, and it is very popular. In my previous videos, I explained how ConfUI will work with 11.11's Stable Dif Diffusion Web UI. Today, I will briefly explain how you can install ConfUI as standalone on your MacBook computer. The steps are pretty simple. Let's start. First of all, we need to download ConfUI repo to our computer. I'm going, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and git clone command with this, for this. Here is the new terminal window. I moved right side. Here is the repo address and the it clone. This is my and this is my parent folder. The confui repo clone to my computer disk. Here is the folder as you can see. Now we need to create Python virtual environment for, for the ConfUI. So we need to we need to open ConfUI folder and create virtual um, Now, which environment folder is created? At this point, we need to activate also this folder. For the activation, we can use this command. So, as you can see, see our virtual environment folder name inside of the parentheses. So this means uh, it is activated also. So also we can deactivate the folder if if we want, and also reactivate again. Now we created virtual environment folder and activated. Next step, we need to download the libraries from the, uh, for the ConfUI. So, uh, one of important library is the Torch. So, if you are using MacBook i9 Pro like me, so you need to install Torch night version. I'm going to use pip for install Torch night version. Here is the command. Also, I will share all commands uh, in the description area you can find. Now, Torch downloaded and installed to my computer. Next step, we should install all Confi wire current. So for this, I'm going to use this command. All requirements installed. Now we can start ConfUI uh, by using main pi file. Here is a comment.
Now Confuai is sorted with successfully. So we can click the local host URL. Then here is the Confuai. So but we need to complete one more step to generate an image using my Confuai because as you can see we have no checkpoint file or the model so we can't generate an uh, AI image right now so I'm going to close the window and also I'm going to stop the Confuai so now let's download the model. All models, all, all checkpoint files uh, should be located in checkpoints folder. So let me show. So we, we should uh, download or we should locate all models uh, in the checkpoint in checkpoints folder generally i'm using uh, hugging face to download uh, models here is the stable diffusion version 1.5 so i'm going to download this file I'm going to use wget as the SD Now download is started. The checkpoint files are pretty big files, so it takes time to download. Uh, depends on your internet speed. Now I'm going to cancel the download uh, process because I have already downloaded file. So I will use that file. I'm going to copy my uh, pre previous downloaded models to Confuai checkpoints folder. The copy process is completed, so we can see also the models in the file browser so here is the models folder and checkpoints so here is the my uh, models I downloaded previously so also you can uh, group your models uh, creating folders inside of the checkpoint folder Now we are ready to run Confuai again to generate our first uh, generative AI image. So we need to go parent folder and run to main.py. But I'm strong. If you are using MacBook uh, machine, if you are using MacBook i9 uh, machine like me, so I'm strongly recommend uh, start uh, Confuai with this command. So otherwise you can see some uh, memory errors 
uh, for generating with generating an image. Okay, I started. Now here is the our checkpoint file. So we can run the prompt. Voila, here is our first AI generated image using Confui. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.